Let us now describe the hydrological flow processes for a well in a regional groundwater flow field. For this we will use the Dupuis equation that was introduced in the preceding lecture. T in the equation, of course, is the aquifer's transmissivity in square meter per day. When using this equation for an unconfined aquifer, the absolute value of the drawdown, H minus H large R, needs to be much smaller than the hydraulic head H itself. In practice, the Dupuis equation is often used for unconfined aquifers, as the error involved in deviating from the equation for steady groundwater flow in an unconfined aquifer, that we know as H squared equals H large R squared, etc., usually is not that large. Also, one should be aware that the estimation of the pumping well's radius of influence, large R, is more crucial, as is the error in estimating the aquifer's hydraulic conductivity or transmissivity. This figure shows the potentiometric surface, the pumping cone or drawdown curve, due to groundwater extraction by a pumping well in cross-section view. Figure A in the absence of a regional groundwater flow field and figure C in a regional groundwater flow field. As in all earlier derivations, for an unconfined aquifer, the dupuis forheimer assumptions apply. Figure B shows the potentiometric surface of the regional groundwater flow field itself. Please note that the curve of C is obtained by summation of the curves for A and B. Figure B shows the potentiometric surface of a regional groundwater flow field in cross section. The groundwater in the regional field flows from right to left in the direction of the lower hydraulic head. The shape of the potentiometric surface of a regional unconfined groundwater flow system in cross section is parabolic. However, the parabola is quite flat and, as the Dupuis Forheimer assumptions apply, we may simply approximate its shape as a linear function with the hydraulic gradient I as slope and C as a constant. We may assume the hydraulic gradient I for unconfined groundwater flow to be in the order of one thousandth, a positive gradient here as flow is to the left. Thus, for both confined and unconfined conditions, this equation holds. Hx is the hydraulic head of the original regional groundwater flow field in meter. Taking x is zero and r is zero at the same location, x and r in these equations are interchangeable. Figure C thus shows the drawdown curve of a pumping well in a regional groundwater flow field. Note that the volume fluxes of the pumping well in figures A and C are taken equal. The influence of the regional groundwater flow field in figure C is to lower the hydraulic head of the pumping well drawdown curve in the direction of the original regional groundwater flow. Physically, the hydraulic head H total in the drawdown curve of figure C is constructed by summation of the influences of the pumping well, figure A, and regional groundwater flow field, figure B. Thus, Graphically, as mentioned before, the hydraulic head H total in figure C is derived by adding together H small r of figure A and Hx of figure B. Mathematically, H total is the summation of H small r, the Dupuis equation, and the equation for Hx as shown here. So we get this equation. H total is the hydraulic head caused by pumping in a regional groundwater flow field in meters. At a certain point to the left in figure C, 
the hydraulic head ceases to be influenced by flow to the pumping well located to the right. The regional groundwater flow is to the left, and thus exactly at the point where flow to the right to the pumping well is replaced by regional groundwater flow to the left, we must encounter a point of no groundwater flow. This point is called the stagnation point. The stagnation point is a local maximum in the potentiometric surface H total, and mathematically, the local maximum can be derived as dH total dr equals zero. Here we have the equation for H total. This term with large r in it is a constant. This is also a constant. And when we differentiate this and set it equal to zero, this is what we get. And we can rewrite this to obtain r as a function of the pumping volume flux, the aquifer's transmissivity, and the hydraulic gradient of the regional groundwater flow field. This small r is negative for a pumping well in a regional groundwater flow field from right to left, with a positive hydraulic gradient, as in figure B and C. This is correct, as the stagnation point then is located to the left of the center of the pumping well, where small r equals zero. This figure shows the plan view of the streamlines to a pumping well in a regional groundwater flow field in dark blue color, and the regional groundwater flow field in light blue color. Note the position of the stagnation point in this figure. Please note that stagnation is not limited to this point, but that there is a stagnation curve in between the regional groundwater flow and the groundwater flow to the well.